Hey guys, today I'm going to introduce you to a new SIP client for BSNL Fiber. This is the best SIP client I have tested and this works seamlessly. The specialty of this application is you need not add zero before dialing or remote country code and you can use your whole contacts with just a few settings. So first you need to install this application from Play Store. This is a 39 MB application and once, once it is installed, it goes up to 100 MB. So is pretty well rated also. I have used this app in background also and it doesn't use as much as battery. So let's get going and set up this application. First of all, let's give all the permission it needs. This mic obviously we need. Okay, and let's start uh, by adding an account. Here you can add your neighbor's account also, but don't do that. Okay. First add the display name. Give a display name in text format rather than a number format because it is displayed in history also. So you might get confused. And now add all the necessary information needed. Username, password, similar to Zyper. And now this is an important setting that is to switch off push notification because it doesn't work. Okay, and let's go to the advanced account setting and here add the outbound proxy and the username. Here you can also change the DTMF to inbound. It's an optional setting. You can do it if you want. And here is the IMS switch. In some cases you need IMS switch to be switched on. Here is the option for DNS. You can set your custom DNS according to the router. Okay, and here we come to the very important step, which is the number rewriting. Okay, and uh, let's add the first rule here. And this is the country code removal rule. Add a title. Here add the common format, which is plus nine one and 10 digits. In place of digits at X. So it's plus 91 and 10 X. Prefix to remove will be plus 91 and to add is 0. So this is the final, final format for calling, which is 0 and 10 digits. You can check again and we can see that the number re rating has been done properly and you can add other rule which is adding zero to the numbers which don't have a country code. So in this case, you need just to add the 10 X's and removal of any prefix is not there. Just add zero and the final format which is zero and 10 X's. Okay, now we'll do some more settings and here let's go to the preferences. Here you can disable mobile data because obviously it's not needed and we'll disable messaging because messaging is not there presently. Here you can enable call recording if you want. I currently don't need it. Disable video calls. It's not there. And finally you have the auto start on boot function. If you want to enable it, go ahead. Now let's go to advanced setting. Here you can see plenty of port settings. You can set your ports, but by default it uses random port function and it works pretty fine. And now let's go to the audio codec settings. In audio codec settings, we'll give priority to G711 ULaw, G711 ALaw and the rest of them. This is best supported with BSNL Fiber. As you can see, you can rearrange them. If you are facing any issues here, you can do settings down below over here. Okay, so we have come to the main interface which is the dialer and the next one is contacts. 
to keep this app in functioning throughout, you need to lock this app in recent, recent tabs. Avoid exiting the app by using the back key. Instead, use the home button to exit the app so that you can keep the app for a longer time. Usually the RAM management kills the app and this can be skipped by this step. And there are two problems which is associated with this app. Which is the WhatsApp contacts get synced along with the phone contacts. So you can delete all the WhatsApp contacts if you want. And the second one is the contacts are not seen sometimes. You can use the search bar that time. Okay, and uh, so if accidentally the app gets exited and the phone does not register, the hard phone you have connected to your ONT always gets a call. If the app fails to register, exit the app and remove it from recent tab and open it again. And in just a few seconds, it registers back.